this morning's session really showed so clearly in a couple of instances how no matter what the world is telling us, if our internal story of what's occurring has to do with being victimized, then we suffer. It's very simple. And if you are quite certain that you aren't telling yourself a story of being a victim and yet you're suffering, then I suggest you're lying to yourself. <laughs> That there has to be some thread of some ancient story of how you have been wronged. How God has wronged you, or how your parents have wronged you, or how the nature of things has wronged you, how circumstances have wronged you, have you as you have wronged yourself. All of that is the story of being the victim being a victim. Even the strongest aggressors, if you just crack the, the superficial layer of aggression, you find this, I've been wronged. And so the striking out in anger or revenge or getting even has to do with the same victim story. If you can see this, if you can see how it plays in your life, that's very good. Because when you can see it, you can see that it must be recreated each time it plays. There's some past momentum that allows it to surface, but to be played through, it has to take energy and attention and belief emotion, and some pleasure with the pain. So the willingness to tell the truth about who it is you are is a willingness to no longer be a victim, regardless of pain, regardless of circumstances regardless of others, regardless of the real horror that occurs in the world. To no longer be a victim of that doesn't mean to trivialize that or deny that or gloss over that or repress that. It means that you are encouraged in whatever appears or occurs or is experienced to meet fully the experience, to not have to hide or run or justify or wail or curse or moan, just to meet it, to be willing to be annihilated by it is the same willingness to discover directly what can never be annihilated. just this thread of a story which is composed of thought which is nothing at all. What power? This is the power of mind. One of its powers. The simulation of reality. A story about a reality. A story about a life. Are you willing to let your story go? And all those horrible aggressors to go unpunished. <laughs> there is a certain point, you know, where you just call it off. Yes, you have suffered at the hands of others. Yes, there has been horrible suffering done. And you have been on both ends of it. You have perpetuated it, and you have felt it directed at you. Are you willing just to say, enough?
No one can end it but you. That's where your freedom is. You are free to suffer. And you are free to stop suffering. <laughs> I invite you to experience stopping suffering so that you consciously are free, so that you consciously choose to suffer, or consciously choose to let it go. That's the bondage, you know, is being unaware of the choice to be free and the choice to suffer. So I am letting you know there's supreme, ultimate joys now and forever. It's up to you. So, initially, this desire for happiness, or desire for truth, or desire for escape from suffering is very useful. It's an ally. And then, <laughs> it's poison. It's your enemy. So, to want anything to last forever, is to overlook what is always here. Because you have decided or concluded, well, it doesn't feel really good right now, so what I would like is what was here five minutes ago, or five months ago, or when I was a little baby, or what I read the saint had. And this is suffering. It's the practice of desire because it takes some doing, it takes some effort. It takes imaging, it takes thinking and thinking about what's been thought. It takes comparing, it takes the energy of attempting to grasp, which is just the other side of the energy of attempting to keep something away. So it's a practice. And you might want to tell the truth, is it your practice? I mean, I, everybody talks about their meditation practice. <laughs> but in the interest of truth, you may want to really examine what is your meditation practice? What are you spending your attention, your lifetime practicing? If you're practicing desire, you're suffering. If you're suffering, check it out. Are you practicing desire? <laughs> this is self-investigation. Be willing to tell the truth. Be willing to die in the truth. Because usually the root of desire is some avoidance of you as you think yourself to be dying. So if you can just keep the feeling of enlightenment, then you're not dead. Or if you're, you're eternal life, right? Or if you can just keep the feeling of happiness, then it doesn't matter if you die. But if you feel ignorant and unhappy, it matters. And you begin to practice not feeling that. And so much expenditure of energy, attention, time, money, your life, your soul. And then your life is ended. <laughs> <laughs>